There are a lot of different objects on Mars that people see or think they see in various rover images, and it's really hard to dismiss them because they do look exactly like sculptures that human beings make. In my opinion, that is not a natural structure. It's got to be some intelligent species that created it. Chaim Eshed is making the extraordinary claim that the United States and Israel have been in contact with a group of aliens. Mars has been a subject of curiosity for centuries. His theory suggested the possibility of life existing on that red land. Mummies, extraterrestrial life, ancient civilizations are just a few of the many things that NASA has spotted on Mars. And what they uncovered has shocked the entire world. Determining if this is possibly just something nature made or something that humans or extraterrestrials had a hand in. In the big old universe of weird stuff, there is a wild tale that's part Japan's old timey secrets and part Mars mystery. Meet Tyler from Secure Team 10, the dude who has got coordinates that connect a funky keyhole mound in Japan to a ginormous Martian structure. In Japan, they're called Kofun tombs. There are hundreds of these tombs built between around 300 AD to around 600 AD. Basically, VIP resting spots for big shots from the 3rd to 7th century. Now, jump to Mars. There's this massive keyhole-looking thing all alone, sparking some wild ideas. Straight edges and a dot at the base make you wonder, did the same architects play with both planets? Well, here is NASA with their facts trying to be the buzzkill of our cosmic excitement. They say those straight edges on Mars are just nature's random art. Fractures and hills doing their thing for billions of years. No alien artistry, just planetary evolution. With no definite answer and two shapes being identical, even though millions of miles apart and billions of years old, it does seem that there is more to it than what we are being told to believe. Lost Civilization There are a lot of different objects on Mars that people see or think they see in various rover images, and it's really hard to dismiss them because they do look exactly like sculptures that human beings make. There have been long-standing rumors about the true source for the extraordinary technology that launched us to the moon. Curious statements made by returning astronauts and even impossible architecture allegedly found on the moon and Mars. Well, the evidence is finally here. Many missions have been conducted by Mars rovers, and once they returned, NASA saw pictures of ancient artifacts. This has been monumental as the evidence provided may suggest a possible civilization that once existed. Structures on Mars may be completely related to structures here on Earth. Linking it with aliens or other extraterrestrial beings we are not aware of. Although not conclusive, but the fact water was once on Mars and these images, it is highly possible that someone once lived here, and when the water began to dry, they left for another more suitable planet. And who knows, maybe some aliens found our planet to be the most suitable. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Alien caught. If you're an alien enthusiast, then this next video is for you. During one of the many Apollo missions, a rare footage was caught and hidden in the archives. The video filmed by one of the two astronauts from behind a rock shows a figure, an alien walking on the surface of the moon, before eventually kneeling. Of course, it is quite difficult to determine exactly what an alien was doing, maybe collecting a sample. Maybe it dropped something, or something that our human minds cannot comprehend at the moment. But something unusual happens, which displays the level of intelligence of these extraterrestrial beings. The aliens somehow knew that it was being recorded and looked directly at the camera. Whoever the astronaut was, he or she did not wait to find out. The video ends abruptly and nothing is known about what happened afterwards. It is not even certain what became of the astronauts. But considering the video exists, it is likely the alien let them go. U.S. Army and Aliens 
Chaim Eshed is making the extraordinary claim that the United States and Israel have been in contact with a group of aliens for years, not immigrants, but extraterrestrials. The head of Israel's space agency isn't dismissing the recent extraterrestrial claims dropped by Chaim Hashed, the former head of Israel's defense ministry space dictorate. Eshed made headlines claiming aliens have touched down on Earth. And we're not talking about a casual pit stop. According to Eshed, as the big wig in Israel's space security programs for three decades, not only do aliens exist, but they've been mingling with us for a while. There's even a collaboration between the U.S. and these otherworldly beings forming the Galactic Federation. I mean, what? They want a space force or something. Eshed insists that Donald Trump was about to spill the space beans, but the ET squad put a lid on it fearing humanity isn't quite ready for the revelation. Allegedly, these aliens are conducting experiments right under our noses on Earth, and there's even an underground base on Mars where they team up with American astronauts. While it's undoubtedly an out-of-this-world claim, it's not entirely dismissed as lunacy. Could it be that the truth is way stranger than fiction? Alien Recovered I spotted a lot of stuff that seemed to not belong on the moon. NASA wants us to believe that humans or anyone resembling us have never been found on the moon. Some have believed them, but not all. And after some digging, I have found evidence that suggests that the Apollo missions weren't about going to the moon, but about recovering something from it. That is inside this lunar module looks like a woman, and this is the alien that they recovered from the ship. What you're seeing on your screens right now is not a human being, but a sarcophagus of an extraterrestrial entity. The figure looks like a woman, which has earned her the name Mona Lisa of the Moon, or Moon Lady. This discovery is so well preserved, which makes sense due to lack of air and moisture in space that the skin and other facial features are easily distinguishable. Moon Lady was found during a 1976 moon mission, which according to NASA was a no soft landing expedition. She was the pilot of an alien spacecraft and is about anywhere from 1 million to 1 billion years old. Although NASA openly has denounced this alleged alien mummy, but Buzz Aldrin has confirmed again and again that during Apollo missions, the astronauts in NASA have contacted or been contacted by intelligent life outside of our planet. Mysterious music. See the sound out of space, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? In 1969, while cruising around the moon, Apollo 10 astronauts Thomas Stafford, John Young, and Eugene Carnan reported hearing strange music that echoed through the lunar expanse. Fast forward to now, NASA has released the actual audio recording of these mysterious sounds that baffled the spacemen. The sounds, which lasted about an hour, were recorded and transmitted to Mission Control in Houston. A transcript of the text was released in 2008, but the actual audio has only just been made to the public. See the sound out of space, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? <laughs> The trio felt the sounds were so strange that they debated whether or not to tell the chiefs at NASA, for fear they wouldn't be taken seriously and could be dropped from future space missions. NASA says the sounds could not have been alien music. An engineer from the U.S. Space Agency said the noises likely came from interference caused by radios that were close to each other in the lunar module and the command module. Astronaut Al Warden, who flew on Apollo 15, disputed that explanation, saying, Logic tells me that if there was something recorded on there, then there's something there. But Michael Collins, the pilot of Apollo 11, who became the first person to fly around the far side of the moon by himself, while Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were walking on the surface, said he too heard an eerie woo-woo sound, but accepted the explanation of radio interference. What explanation are you going to accept? secret base. In my opinion, that is not a natural structure. It's got to be some intelligent species that created it. The Apollo moon landings of 1969 to 1972 marked a glorious era in space exploration, capturing the world's imagination 
with historic imagery. Yet, amidst the well-documented history, something creeped out. A peculiar image which has fueled speculations and stirred the pot of conspiracy. Ken Johnston, once a NASA test pilot, turned director at the Johnson Space Flight Center. According to him, during a moon mission, astronauts brought back eyebrow-raising photos. Rounded, dome-shaped objects chilling in a crater. Ken's curiosity led to a heated exchange with his boss, who in not-so-subtle terms said, get rid of those pictures. And we argued a little bit. He finally said, I don't care what you do, just get rid of those pictures that were taken. Ken's not a lone wolf in the Alien on the Moon belief club. Some eyes squint at images, spotting what seems like vehicle tracks. How did those get there? Journalist Alexi Brooks further supported an idea of ancient interstellar civilization called the Anuki. Their technology is said to be uh, integral in the structures that we're familiar with today, like the pyramids. So the question becomes, did this ancient race lay footing, if you will, on the moon? These beings, dating back over 3,000 years, supposedly left their mark on Earth's pyramids, and some think maybe on the moon. So did the Anarchy or other ancient squads set lunar footprints? Alien spacecraft. A bit of otherworldly wreckage on the Martian surface has been discovered by a Mars helicopter. But before we dive into extraterrestrial mysteries, let's look at what exactly was found. These captivating images taken in April of 2022 show what seems like remnants of an alien encounter. The spacecraft has a circular shape but doesn't look to be in top-notch condition, which makes it rather difficult to properly map out what it looked like. I mean, even humans haven't had soft landings, so perhaps aliens have also gone through the same experience. But if that were true, then how intelligent are they? They can't even land on a planet. Pfft, get out of here. All jokes aside, as much as I wanted it to be an alien craft, humans are technically behind it. Where there is pollution, there you will find humans. There is the aftermath of the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity's touchdown in 2021. The wreckage is part of the back shell, a critical component that shields the rover and helicopter during their dramatic entry into Mars' thin atmosphere. Among the debris is a 70-foot-wide parachute, still hitching a ride on the back shell, doing its part to decelerate the descent. Consider the extreme conditions and mind-boggling speeds. Nearly 12,500 miles per hour that vehicles face during the Martian atmosphere entry. The fact that Ingenuity has surpassed its expected performance is nothing short of astounding. Ancient Obelisks November 20th, 1966, the Lunar Orbiter 2, NASA's probe, photographs this area on the moon that was actually in the Sea of Tranquility only 300 kilometers away from where Apollo 11 ended up landing. So, way back in 1966, before we landed on the moon, NASA sent a space gadget called Orbiter 2 to take pictures and help pick a cool spot for Apollo astronauts to touch down. Now, when Orbiter 2 snapped a pic in the Sea of Tranquility, close to where Apollo 11 eventually landed, it caught something strange. The photo showed shadows that looked like tall, pointy structures, like those Egyptian obelisks you see in movies. Imagine eight of these things on the moon with the tallest being as big as a 15-story building. Now, moons aren't supposed to have structures like that. Space rocks constantly smash into them, making it hard for anything big to stand up straight for billions of years. So these moon spires raised eyebrows. Here's where it gets curious. Buzz Aldrin switched on radars when he was up there. Radars help detect things around you, but he used one that looked sideways even though the moon's surface is down below. Why would you do that if there's nothing to spot sideways? Why would you turn on the side radar? There's no reason to, but Aldrin did it, and I think it's because he knew, and NASA knew, that there was some danger of running into these things. Some folks think NASA might have known about these mysterious structures on the moon. Aldrin's radar move added a dash of mystery. Was NASA on a secret mission? to figure out what these moon obelisks were about? 
Martian Bigfoot Remember those controversial NASA photos that sparked debates about Bigfoot strolling on the Martian surface? I have something for you. In a captivating twist, a recent image from the Mars Explorer Spirit has left scientists scratching their heads. A colossal boot print imprinted on the Martian soil. Some skeptics suggest it might be an odd crater, but those of us in Sasquatch territory know better. This peculiar snapshot snapped in 2004 shows a human-shaped object that resembles previous alleged Bigfoot sightings. Is the interplanetary wanderer making himself at home on Mars? If this is Bigfoot's handiwork, he's not just surviving, he's thriving and seemingly growing in size. Conspiracy theorists are having a field day, and while skeptics might dismiss it as just another Martian rock, there's undeniable evidence of the idea of Bigfoot leaving his mark in the vast expanse of the Red Planet. The Mars Explorer Spirit, part of an $820 million mission, has been on a mission since 2004, capturing images of the Martian landscape. Since it has been confirmed that Mars once had surface water, it had the potential to support life. Mars Dust Devil Even distant planets, like Mars, aren't without some Mother Nature's sweet display of power. NASA's Perseverance rover captured the lower part of a Martian dust devil strutting its stuff along the western rim of Mars's Gersardo crater on August 30, 2023. The video was sped 20 times faster than reality, shows a mesmerizing sequence of 21 frames taken by one of Perseverance's nav cams. Each of these frames were spaced four seconds apart. Now, these dust devils on Mars are like the distant cousins of Earth's tornadoes, less intense but still packing a punch. But this is good news for scientists, as they are studying it to decode the secrets of Mars's atmosphere and fine-tune their weather models. Analyzing the imagery, the brilliant minds at NASA figured out that this particular dust devil was moving 2.5 miles away, in a spot charmingly named Thoroughfare Ridge. It was cruising from east to west at a breezy 12 miles per hour, with an estimated width of around 200 feet. Although only the lower 387 feet made it into the camera frame. These Martian dust devils can reach heights much grander than their earthly counterparts. And while they like to party during Martian spring and summer, scientists can't predict exactly when and where they'll pop up. So, Perseverance and its rover buddy Curiosity keep their cameras peeled. Moon Creature have you ever wondered what it would be like if something or someone was seen on the moon from the Earth? Well, this next video will open your eyes. The video shows a huge tentacle monster that was trying to engulf the entire moon. It was crawling all over it, and the fact that it can be seen from Earth just proves how large that thing is, or at least would be. To put it into perspective for you, the size of the moon could fit all of Europe, China, the United States, Brazil, and South Africa all together. So, seeing something that is visible all the way from the Earth? Yeah, that thing will be in Russia and the USA at the same time. And if for some god unknown reason came to our planet, we are screwed. So let's just be glad this video is fake, but definitely puts a different image of monsters in our heads. UFOs on Moon If these objects were orbiting the moon, they would have to be two to three miles wide. There are stories across multiple cultures of people or creatures living on the moon, and with this newfound footage, it seems we are not the only ones, or even the most recent visitors of our nearest neighbor, the moon. A photographer was setting up his camera to shoot a full moon, illuminating the entire city. At first, he appears to be struggling to get focus, and when he does, he is left with more than a little moonstruck. There are three very visible black circles that cross in front of the moon and they don't look anything like that has been documented before. Then, almost as soon as these three pass, more start to emerge and come into the frame. What is even more bizarre, that wherever these things are, they don't seem to have any fixed formation. It's very loose. The cluster of objects is erratic. So, could these circular things be asteroids or, perhaps, a fleet of alien craft? 
I was about to debunk it until astrophotographer Andrew McCarthy started doing some math magic and was able to calculate their size. Based on the moon's diameter and an estimated orbit 60 miles above the surface, and what he said gave me goosebumps. So if these UFOs were orbiting the moon, then they would easily have been more than two to three miles wide. Let me tell you just how enormous that is. The largest operational plane in the world is Antonov An-225 Myra, which is 275 feet long. And one of these UFOs is at least more than 15,000 feet in size. Their size to the moon and their movement show some sort of intelligent life operating behind the flying objects. Water on Mars The commonly held belief was that Mars lost its liquid water around 3 billion years ago, but two scientists poring over data accumulated by MRO over the last 15 years have made a groundbreaking discovery. Their research suggests that liquid water might have been present on Mars about 2 billion to 2.5 billion years ago. This implies that water flowed on the red planet for about a billion years longer than previously estimated. The findings challenge the notion that Mars's water resources evaporated much earlier in its history. What's the evidence? The researchers used an imaging spectrometer on MRO to detect signatures of hydrated minerals on slopes where mysterious streaks, known as recurring slope lini, are observed. These dark streaks seem to come and go over time, darkening and flowing down steep slopes during warm seasons and fading in cooler seasons. The key discovery is the presence of hydrated salts on these slopes, providing strong evidence for the intermittent flow of liquid water on present-day Mars. These hydrated salts could lower the freezing point of a liquid brine, similar to how salt on Earth's roads causes ice to melt faster. Scientists propose that this could be a shallow subsurface flow, with enough water reaching the surface to explain the observed darkening. The discovery is the latest of many breakthroughs by NASA's Mars missions. Weird Organism Mars just served up a mystery that has Earth scratching its collective head. NASA's Perseverance rover stumbled upon something utterly bizarre, a stringy object chilling in the Martian sand. The photo taken on July 12, 2022, reveals a peculiar object nestled between Martian rocks. And boy, does it look like a bundle of strings. Perseverance even threw in a second snapshot to give us a sense of scale. It's right there beneath the rover's wheels. But doesn't it look like a dried up version of this weird looking alien creature? The tentacles in the main body. It's enough to give anyone the creeps. So either Mars has a pasta factory or alien organisms are already wandering on our planet. Organic matter. So we just drilled only a few centimeters below the surface and lo and behold, we discover organic molecules. Exciting news from NASA's Curiosity rover the rover has discovered new evidence preserved in rocks on Mars that suggests the planet could have supported ancient life. The presence of organic matter is a crucial finding as it provides chemical clues about the conditions and processes on Mars, offering insights into whether the planet could have supported ancient life. While organic matter itself doesn't confirm the existence of past life, it serves as a valuable piece of the puzzle in understanding Mars' history. Methane, considered the simplest organic molecule, has been found in various locations in our solar system that could potentially host life, such as Saturn and Jupiter's moons. The detection of methane on Mars adds to the intrigue and raises questions about the planet's current geological and atmospheric processes. While not direct evidence of past life on Mars, these discoveries are significant indicators that enhance the possibility that Mars was habitable in the past. UFO Chase You're glued to NASA's live web feed, casually observing the International Space Station as it orbits high above the Earth. Suddenly something catches your eye, a strange object barely visible and moving in perfect harmony with the ISS. It's not your typical UFO. This one shaped like a cylinder and seems to be almost see-through. The clip shows the anomaly trailing at the same speed of the massive U.S. spacecraft, and a Marsan researcher says 
It is similar to the cylinder UFO and orbs seen on CNN Worldwide back in 2006. Scott C. Waring, founder of UFO Sighting Daily, was spending a quiet night at home watching the live internet cam of the ISS when he saw something strange floating beside it. The video post is just 1 minute and 22 seconds long and shows the outside of the station. But if you just a little to the right there, it seems to be an object traveling at the same speed, and just as Waring describes it, cylinder and semi-transparent. This footage sent conspiracy theorists into a frenzy, as many believed it to be a UFO. But do you know what truly sends me into a frenzy? Knowing that some of you still haven't liked this video and subscribed to my channel! I am challenging NASA and aliens to get this information to you. Show some love. Plastic Humans haven't even been on Mars, yet it is already starting to be polluted by garbage. Or is something extraterrestrial behind this unique discovery? The Curiosity rover was doing a routine patrol on the surface of the red planet when one of its cameras spotted something on the ground. The team behind the rover decided to zoom in and do a little detective work. Using remote microimager of the chemistry and camera or ChemCam instrument, they were able to isolate the small, bright object just hanging out on the Martian surface. This object was no Martian material, which is why there was a lot of curiosity among experts. But after analyzing it closely, they were able to find the truth. The foreign object that looks like a humble shred of plastic was possibly a leftover bit from the rover itself. Scientists were trying to collect Martian samples by scooping the dust and soil from the planet's surface, but they hit the pause button on it in order to analyze the plastic thoroughly. The rover team plans to make some extra images of the surroundings using the trusty mast cam, making sure there are no more surprises waiting to photobomb Curiosity's Martian selfies. This little hiccup is a reminder that even the most high-tech interplanetary explorers sometimes have to deal with the cosmic equivalent of a loose screw or two. Curiosity's not alone in this. Other Martian rovers like the Mars Phoenix Lander and the Opportunity Rover have shed bits and bobs on their journeys through the Red Planet. Holes on Mars Alright, a hole that was discovered on Mars is generating a lot of buzz this morning about potential Martian life. Mars just threw us a curveball, a mysterious deep hole that's got NASA scratching their heads. Mars, the red planet, usually rocks, craters, and canyons. But now it's got this big pit causing some interstellar confusion. Now you'd think Mars has seen it all. Meteorite impacts, collapsing lava tubes, ancient floods doing the cha-cha, and even some volcanic ice melting action. But this hole? It's not your average divot. Occasionally, the MRO will come across an odd feature that poses a fun mystery to solve, such as this shallow circular depression seen earlier last year. But there's nothing so shallow about this pit. Just take a look at it. Being summer for Mars's South Pole, the sun was low enough in the sky to accentuate shadows over the landscape, making subtle features pop right out. Yet a few rays of light were still able to reveal ice at the bottom of the hole. The pit is a tiny, at 20 inches per pixel. We're looking at a feature hundreds of meters across. So the question is, did something punch its way through? Or is it a collapse of some sort? Without more information, it's been hard to tell, but no doubt NASA are still whittling down the possibilities. So the hole looks to be an opening to an underground cavern there on Mars. Meteorite Mars had a little Christmas surprise last year, a meteor that made the red planet rumble. NASA's InSight lander felt the seismic shivers, but scientists were initially puzzled about the quake's origin. But with the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, we have gotten images of the Grand Impact Crater. And oh boy, it's something! This crater, roughly two city blocks wide, steals the spotlight as the largest new crater spotted on Mars. Forget about the usual cosmic dings, this one's more than 10 times heftier than your average Martian pothole. Around this newfound crater, NASA spotted something shiny, a boulder-sized block of water ice. Until now, Martian water ice was camera shy, mostly hanging out near the poles. This discovery brings H2O closer to future Mars explorers, hinting at a potential water source for human needs and rocket fuel. 
So while we're not sending Santa to Mars just yet, this meteoric marvel is a promising sign for our future Martian adventures. Beacon of Light in a recent black and white snapshot from the red planet, a mysterious bright glow was seen on a distant hillside. Some eagle-eyed observers noticed a tiny elongated white blob streaking past the rocky formations. While conspiracy theorists are quick to scream aliens, NASA's probable explanations lean towards cosmic rays, camera lens flares, or sunlight playing peekaboo with the rock. The rover has 17 cameras and has been our eyes on the Martian ground since 2012, and anomalies like these aren't new. Curiosity has a knack for catching peculiar lights in its Martian lens. While the internet goes into a frenzy about potential Martian visitors, let's keep our feet on Earth and our eyes on the stars. Monolith on Mars. It's interesting how it comes right, it's right at habitation on the moon. We can visit other people with their habitation. We can keep track if there's something very important to be developed from the moon. Captured from a staggering 165 miles away by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-resolution camera, this monolith has set the space community abuzz with speculation. Published on Lunar Explorer Italia's website, the image has ignited questions about the possibility of past life on the Red Planet. However, the University of Arizona, the brains behind the original image, had something else to say. According to these earthly scientists, the mysterious structure isn't a relic of alien civilizations, but a run-of-the-mill boulder, possibly measuring up to 5 meters across. Buzz Aldrin, the second person to walk on the moon, hinted at a similar monolith on Mars's moon Phobos. In a recent TV appearance, he dropped hints about an unusual structure on the potato-shaped moon, making people even more curious. While some may be ready to embrace cosmic conspiracies, scientists argue that the monolith is more likely a boulder recently exposed in an otherwise unremarkable area. It seems the universe has a way of keeping us Earthlings on our toes. They're a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that, that goes around Mars once in seven hours. It's time for today's open discussion. You won't believe what some folks claim they found on Mars, a fossilized iguana. This whole thing started when Scott Waring, a keen-eyed explorer of Martian photos, spotted this mysterious object in NASA's archives. Now, Scott's not new to this game. He runs UFO sightings daily, and he's found about 10 to 15 supposed animals on the Martian turf. This time, he's all excited about this iguana-shaped rock. He said it was caught on camera by the Mars Curiosity rover. And it's not the first time someone thought they saw critters on the red planet. Back in 2013, a blogger claimed to have spotted a lizard casually strolling around Mars, although no evidence of that was ever shown. Now, some conspiracy theorists got a bit hyped, thinking NASA might be doing some Martian animal planting for secret experiments. Scott, on the other hand, thinks it's possible because, you know, there might be tiny amounts of water on Mars, and desert animals could be wandering around. Pretty rare, but hey, he's got his theories. Curiosity, the $2.5 billion rover, has been doing its thing since landing on Mars in 2012. It's been checking out the Martian scene, sniffing around for any signs that Mars might have once been a cozy spot for tiny life forms. So, we are on to something here. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.